What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Olds TV. This is the TCL 30 V 5G. Now this phone only goes for 299 bucks. Very inexpensive. It's on Verizon. It's a 5G phone. It has access to their ultra wide bands. You can get those extremely fast speeds, tri cameras, fingerprint sensor on the back, headphone jack at the top there, dual speakers, like I said, you got fast charging via USB-C. It's a very, very nice phone uh, for the price that you're getting. And it's also got this huge 6.7 inch display. Let's first look at what comes inside of the box. So you got your quick reference guide to learn how to use it. You get your charger here and the charger is right there. You get that, which is rare. You get a USB-C cord and a charging brick. Very, very rare to get. The two cool things that this phone has that a lot of phones don't have, like I mentioned earlier, it does have that headphone jack. So you can plug in a pair of uh, headphones and listen to your heart's content wired up. Also it has Bluetooth anyway. And then the other thing is, is it does have external storage you can put in here. So it has a micro SD card expansion. So it comes with 128 gigs of storage, which is you know sufficient enough. But if you wanna add more yourself, you can add up to a one terabyte card. Also Snapdragon 480, four gigs of RAM. So you're not gonna get like a crazy high performing phone, but for this price, it does the job. Fingerprint sensor, let's check that out and see how well that works. I love these ones on the back. Uh, they're definitely in one of my favorite locations. I like these better than the ones that sit on top of the display. Uh, and you can see it works very, very accurately and very quickly at that. So very, very nice. This 6.7 inch display, you can see you get the camera built into the phone, very modern look to this whole uh, phone. It is a plastic phone, absolutely fine with that due to the fact that, you know, you drop it, it's not gonna crack the, gra the, the grass or the glass. Uh, so it's very, very, I'm fine with that. Camera bump isn't crazy on here. Put a case on this, you'd be cool uh, to use it. Holding it in your hand, it's fairly light for the most part. It's got a little bit of heft to it, but it's not too crazy. Um, it's a fairly thin phone. Since it is so big, you get a nice kind of thinness to it. And it runs Android 11 and has their own kind of TCL interface built up on top of it. But for the most part, it's fairly plain Android. You get your home screens, you got your Google feed here, which runs pretty well. This display is 60 Hertz. So if you're used to hearing a lot of, you know, refresh rates is 90, 120, 240. This is 60 and you can tell on some of that and we'll get into that in a moment, but otherwise it runs pretty smooth on the display. Here's the uh, app launcher that you have. You do get a lot of customizations built into this because it is an Android phone. You got your wallpapers in here. You can add your own photos as the wallpaper there. Go back in there real quick. You got your themes. So the themes aren't anything too crazy. You can do round style icons or square style icons or freestyle if you want and just hit apply. You also got your widgets, just like any other Android phone. So these are apps that sit on top of your home screen. And then you have your home screen settings on here uh, where you can add and change things as well. I'll run into here real quick. And I've done a video on like the first 30 things to do on a TCL phone. I'll link that down below, but generally, uh, you know, kind of basic Android feel to it. Installed apps, uh, we'll run through that really quick. I only installed a few apps on here, but you can see they installed this crossword puzzle game. But the cool thing is about it, I didn't install it, they did. I can come in here and I can uninstall that app. I don't have to live with it, even though it's pre-installed, you know, I can get rid of it. Here's a Verizon app. I don't know if I can get rid of it. I cannot, so I can disable uh, the digital secure app if I want from Verizon if need be. But there are, uh, you can see there's nothing, this I didn't install got slots, whatever that is. But again, I can uninstall it. So there's a few games that are installed on here. You have your Pluto TV didn't install that. Again, you can probably uninstall. So it's not a huge deal to have a couple of apps on uh, installed on here that you know you might not want. But otherwise a pretty clean uh, phone for the most part there. And then let's talk about uh, performance. You know, like I mentioned, it has a 60 Hertz refresh rate. So I noticed coming from like a Galaxy, you know, high end Galaxy, you know, Samsung Galaxy phone, I noticed it doesn't feel as smooth. And you have to take into effect, it has only four gigs of RAM, it has a Snapdragon 480, and uh, it has a 60 Hertz refresh rate display. And, I, and you can notice a little bit, it's not like the smoothest device I've ever used, but it's also 299 bucks. So I wouldn't, you know, dive too deep into that in terms of, 
the beauty of this is that you know you get this beautiful display this big display while having pretty decent performance and i'll open up instagram here got instagram loaded up now i will go into the uh, cheese brothers they keep popping up because i keep contemplating on buying some cheese curds from cheese brothers uh, i love cheese curds especially when i'm in canada i'll go up there but yeah you can see it goes through instagram fine so like if you, it's stuff like that if you want to use your social media you can see it loaded up that app super fast it's going to be great it's going to be really good uh, you know so if you love to do just basic kind of stuff on here it's going to be absolutely fine you're going to have no problems with using the phone to its potential and I'll even throw in this Tom Hero game. Let me just uh, lower the volume if it's not already loaded. We'll load the game up just so you can see from cold. You can see it's loading up. I don't know if you play this game. If Sun plays this game occasionally, I thought I'd throw it on here. It's kind of fun. All right, so here we go with a little Tom foolery here for the game. You can see it loaded up pretty quick. And these games aren't too graphically intense games, but they still are fun to play and they look pretty dynamic on the screen you know they give you a nice bright look to this the, the phone uh, and it's running absolutely fine on here oops and I already died that quick so there you go but ultimately it's gonna run fine so performance uh, again you're not gonna be able to do everything optimally super fast all the time but the basics social media things like that opening up your camera things like that don't feel ultimately all that bad you can see Google opened up pretty quick We'll bring up Android Police's website. I was one of the few things I do. You can see it loaded up in like two seconds. So it runs it pretty good. I, you know, performance, you know, it, it for basic and daily stuff is gonna be good. Next, let's talk about the display. You've seen it pretty much from the from the onset. Bringing it outside, you can definitely see it. It, uh, it It's not the brightest display, but again, 299 bucks. It's an LCD display, so it's not OLED. But, you know, most phones were LCD just up until a couple of years ago. So keep that in mind. So here you go, this video is playing in 1080p. That's the highest resolution it'll play at. I look super red and I don't even know if I was that red in that time, but um, you can see it fills up the phone beautifully. Um, you get the cutter right there, which doesn't bother me at all. It's been there for ages with a lot of the phones on Android. It's a great looking display. I'm very happy with the display. It's definitely one of the strong points about this phone is the display on here. And you can see, remember, this is performance. It's running that absolutely fine. You can, the, the viewing distance and the view from the side, not the best. It's a little, little mirrory, a little darkish. I want to get to a point, but it's not too bad overall. And if you're curious, I only have this at about half brightness. Next, let's check out the cameras. We'll check out the front camera and the three cameras on the back here, and I'll let you know what I think of them. Before we do that, let me show you the camera software. You have auto mode, video, portrait, AI color, which basically will uh, kind of, what it does is, what I've noticed it does anyway, is it puts the person in color and makes the background in black and white. You got a pro mode if you want to take advantage of the camera, which is very rare to see a lot in these uh, pricing of phones, which is really, really nice. It's a higher end feature to add into there a lot of the time. Um, but yeah, let's check that out. And you can see, uh, ultimately this phone can only do 1080p video on the front and the back cameras, FYI. So if you wanted to do something higher than that, unfortunately, this phone can not. What's up? TCL V30 front camera, 1080p 30. I'm gonna go outside for a second.
I'm curious to see how good the stabilization is on this. But this is like one of the cool things about this phone. I probably already mentioned it in the video. I like how big it is. It's flat display. Very cool. Oh, it's really windy out. It'd be interesting to see how much the wind picks up on the microphones. And as you can see, I was walking around and stuff. So what do you think? Let me switch to the back. Who doesn't like a little ultra wide on their cameras? This is the ultra wide camera on the back. Again, 1080p 30. Those are the max on here. So you got to live with it. Not too bad though. Most people probably don't even change the resolution of their video anyway, no matter what phone they have. They probably don't even know. But still, yeah, this is what it looks like. And let's switch to the main camera. All right, here's the main camera going right here. This is um, uh, 1080p 30 as well, obviously, like I said. And walking around a little bit. Microphone outside, if you can hear wind. It's because it's outside. It's a little windy for San Diego. It's generally not this windy. But then I'm going to pull it back in, rain in the... The, the love a little bit here and just uh, take a sweet little look outdoors. There you go. See the cloudy skies? Check all that out. So let me just talk about the photos and videos. I thought the photos for the most part came out pretty good. Like I was pretty impressed with them overall. The colors were good. Um, no problems with that for the most part. Uh, I thought the video looked pretty good. But the problem was obviously the stabilization is basically non-existent. There's no, it's, so it's pretty, a, it's a bumpy ride, those, those photos. So you're better off not walking around like I did and just staying stationary. The other thing is I thought the audio sounded pretty good that it captured with the microphones on this. So overall, who is this phone for? Who should get it? Uh, I think it's a great first phone for kids. I think it's a great adult phone uh, for someone that's a little bit older and doesn't want a phone that's gonna break the bank but still takes decent photos, can record video, is easy to use with this fingerprint sensor on the back, has a headphone jack, expandable storage if they wanna add more storage at a very reasonable price. Uh, with the SD card, the performance on this is fairly good with what you're gonna be able to do with daily tasks. It has 5G. Um, there's a lot of nice stuff to, to like about this phone that people would want in an experience for a phone uh, for the most part. So if you wanna pick it up, I'll link it down below. It's available currently, at least and I, probably forever, I guess, uh, only on Verizon, so you have to be a Verizon customer, but it's, it's a freaking pretty cool phone. So check it out, TCL 30V 5G. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys down the road.